As Nigeria marks her 22 years uh, military handed over power to an elected civilian government in 1992, Plus TV Africa's Jacinta Obuku went to the field to have a review of what June 12 means to a set of people popularly known as Millennials and Generation Z. 28 years ago, an estimated 14 million Nigerians, irrespective of ethnic, religious, class and regional affiliations in a period when religious acrimony and tension had reached its zenith, defied bad weather to elect their president with the hope of ending dark days of military dictatorship. But today, how do the social-minded millennials understand the priorities of older generations? It's the day Nigeria was set free from uh, the colonial masters. Democracy means freedom where people, um, um, for the people, by the people and of the people. So I believe as young people we should be able to express ourselves. Democracy is tampered with, so it's just a normal day. But I think every Nigerian remember that it for is today Nigeria gained independence from no, the colonial masters. June 12 is Democracy Day, and it's the day we had our freedom to vote for who we want, whom we want at what particular time. Is this feedback something to worry about as regards the death of history among the millennial? It's unfortunate that we have generations who does not understand what June 12 is all about. And who should we blame? We blame three set of people. One, the government. They didn't really emphasize it. They didn't put premium on it. They never saw the significance of Juneteenth, so they never promoted it. That is why. Secondly, you should blame a, a, the educational system that does not value history. You also, and this is also policy issue, it's our government. You see that at a particular point, history was banned in this country. Then the third level people are the so-called national orientation agencies. You want to ask me what are they doing? What, 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 what are they orientating? Where is the national citizenship education? I'm not doing it. And on the rejection of the renaming of Unilag after MKO, could it be that he was not really respected by both students and alumni? It is the coin, it is the coin of that name that was a problem. It does not portray that brand. You say, so you put a Malu. You know, Malu in Yoruba, Malu means Malu cow. And you know students really like. They will say, ah, I am a Malu. That's the shame of Malu. So those are the things those students will react against. And secondly, the academic feels slighted. And that is this one they know to do. You see, let me let me also say this. Best, all manner of people using the name of an of a institution. Institution is bigger than personality. You see, if you want to name institution, I've seen that trend, I think it's a bad trend. Don't name institution after anybody. Because it's bigger than those people. It's bigger. People are still going to come and contribute. While the conversation continues on what constitutes history, individuals or people, the lesson here, according to social commentators, is that heroes and their exploits should not be discarded into the being of history. Jacinta Obuku for Plus TV Africa. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.